What's going on everybody, Robinson DUP, and welcome to Back to Bulkix. Once again, still going over the reverse diet, um, but I, I'm really thinking we're starting to transition out of the reverse dieting at this point. I mean, about a, two months out at this point, since my show is over on September 27th, and I think I'm getting more into the lean bulk. But for now, we're still working on increasing my overall food intake. So I'm up to 270 grams of carbs at this point. Um, I was basically eating something like this when I was around 215 pounds. So right now I'm weighing in, balancing back and forth between water and glycogen, probably around 177, 178. And everything's going well. I mean, I'm staying extremely lean. Now, the reason why I'm doing this reverse diet is not so I can maintain my eight pack all year long. I'm not concerned about that. I'm not concerned about putting on extra body fat. I just want to reduce the amount of body fat that I'm putting on. That's the difference between reverse dieting and lean bulking versus a dirty bulk. And I'm going to do a totally different video on that at a later point in time. But I just, I'm, I'm starting to feel healthy again uh, physically. I mean, I'm still dealing with some issues uh, in terms of joints and whatnot. I, got, I still have to be careful with this right shoulder because sometimes it gets a little finicky on me. But right now, as, as everybody knows in the Northeast, it's getting cold. It's getting, it's been like, you know, 20 degrees, 16 degrees, 30 degrees. And I have bad knees from sports. No, not from anything else and all the other dirty jokes you're going to cra uh, crack on me. And I'm also getting old. I mean, not as old as Brandon Campbell old, but I'm getting older. As you know, I'm 33. Sorry, Brandon. I'm always going to be younger than you. My beard gains might not be as good as you, but just saying. <laughs> anyway, guys. Uh, so today, um, not today, I should say this weekend... You know, I was doing some more of the, the big three that I usually do on Saturday, which you saw in the workout footage that I had uh, put up last week. Uh, I did a did four sets of five at 315 on squat. Um, had to kind of stop after the four sets. After the last rep, my right knee was really starting to bother me, so I ended up backing off. Then I went to bench. I did five sets of five at 250 pounds. And then I went to deadlift for three sets of one. Um, still trying to find the groove on deadlift. I haven't gotten completely comfortable with my form yet, my technique. I felt like I had a better groove before the injury. Um, and then, you know, I was able to pull my max lift to 535 the one time. That felt really solid. But as of late, uh, now that I'm just getting back into deadlifting, I'm just not feeling it as much. Uh, I'm trying to just find my mechanics. So yesterday, I was supposed to do about a nine, eight and a half, nine RPE. I pulled 430 pretty easy. I went up to 435, pulled it again. Went for one more attempt at 435, and I think I just left myself um, hanging over a little too much and relying on my lower back to pull it. And then I felt my body kind of slump to the right to compensate. So I kept, I, I thought about trying to just grind that, grind it out. But instead of, you know, injuring myself and being stupid, I just let it go. Uh, moved on. Went on my blood flow restriction for training for legs as usual and some weighted pull-ups. So that basically summed up the workout. The main thing that I'm trying to do here, and I'm trying to be very careful of, and I tell you guys this all the time, is not to let my ego and my pride get the best of me right now. Um, I know what I'm capable of lifting because of previous numbers, but I have to remind myself that I'm in a much lighter body weight and I am still physically recovering from being in prep so long. Uh, I did get a question recently about have I had my hormone levels checked and have I been to a doctor? As of right now, I have not. Not because I'm being stupid or ignorant about you know testosterone and stuff you know uh, decreasing over the course of a prep, but due to work schedules and conflicts, it's kind of hard for me to get into a doctor's office at this particular time. But I have scheduled a physical to happen in the next two to three months. I have it on the calendar. I'm planning on sticking to that date. Just to do a general checkup, not because I'm worried about anything, just to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. Um, I haven't been to a doctor in quite a while, and it's bad on my part. So I'm going to go get some blood work done just to check my hormone levels, make sure everything's in line, uh, and just make sure physically that though I look good, that internally everything is working the way that it's supposed to as well. In terms of the diet, um, I know everybody's thinking I'm, I'm overcounting and overanalyzing everything. I'm really just doing the best I can, especially during the week. To be as perfect with my numbers as possible. But last night, I actually just decided to enjoy a little bit of dinner with my wife. We went out to eat. I had um, I had a chicken wrap with lettuce and tomato. Oh, I know. What a cheat, right? But I actually had two slices of pizza. And then we went out for frozen yogurt afterwards. I did the best to ballpark my macros and accommodate for some of the things that I did. 
but I didn't really panic about it. And the best thing is I woke up this morning, my weight did not change at all. I didn't go running to the gym to go do a bunch of cardio. Like I said, I'm not really overly concerned. You know, Monday, uh, I should say Sunday through uh, Friday, I basically do the best I can to keep my food and my macros in check. If I want to have a little something on Saturday, I have it. I just don't go ape shit off the wall with it for any other better expression that I can say. So that being said, guys, hope you're enjoying the series. I'm glad that all the new subscribers are coming and I'll talk to you soon.